I'd been in Gabon before. This time I'd come to discover it from a new angle, from the seat of a kayak. It's a remarkable and beautiful country. Thanks to its wealth of oil and trees, it's also quite rich. And for the same reasons, at some risk. Yet with a small human population, it's still wild country. The Congo Basin is the second largest rainforest in the world. Dense, hilly forest covers more than 75% of Gabon. 50 to 60,000 elephants make their home in these forests. They're the smaller, reddish coastal variety, their size making it easier for them to crash through the thick foliage. The forests are also filled with bush pigs and lowland gorillas, sitatangas and buffalo. Along its 550 miles of ocean coast are an abundance of Atlantic sea turtles, dolphins, whales, and fish, and surfing hippos. Birds are in every tree, from kingfishers and taracos to 26 different types of bee-eaters and the red-tailed gray parrot, Gabon's national symbol. Into the mid-1800s, the biggest export from Gabon was slaves. This was known as the Lost Coast, from which tens of thousands of slaves were shipped to the west. Ultimately, timber replaced humans as its most profitable commodity. And for the past 40 years, the backbone of Gabon's economy has been oil. Ecotourism is just starting to make inroads as a potential new economy. Jump started a few years ago when 13 national parks, protecting 11% of the country, were declared with one monumental presidential signature. My friend Mike Fay, an American biologist working in Africa the past 25 years, was instrumental in encouraging the park's creation. You know, you think about a president declaring 10% of his country as a national park, that's a pretty radical move with lots and lots and lots of ramifications. The only other similar event would have been Jimmy Carter's uh, signature into law of all of the protected areas in Alaska in 1980. Jimmy Carter created more national park in one fell swoop than all previous presidents put together. What Omar Bongo did is of a similar kind of scale. 